Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the CSA NIT 2020 Mathematics. Today we will discuss the questions related to the real analysis in this video. So we will discuss the questions are there. What are those questions? The first question is related to some bounded functions. Second one is related to some supremum and infimum. Third one is related to some map are there from R2 to R. Fourth question we will discuss related to the continuous functions. And the last one is related to some mappings are there. How you can solve these five questions within a five minutes so that you can learn the shortcut tricks are there. So let's start with the first question. What is given to you? A function is given as a n to n. So but the function itself is what is the function defined at? It may be of the n square. It may be of the n into n plus one or many of them. But it is not given to you. What is given to you? The properties it should be a bounded function. It means you can consider any of the function which is a bounded from the natural number to the natural number. So what is the easiest way you can consider? You can consider f of n is constant. Every constant function is bounded. So the easiest way is I can consider f of n is my 1. Now, the, now you can consider this and discard the option. So we will take which is not true. Limit of the supremum is a natural number. So what is the supremum of this? That is the sequence is my 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Because f of n is 1 for here. What is the maximum? What is the supremum of this is 1, which is a natural number. So this is my true statement, but we need a false. What is the infimum of this? Again, it's a 1. It's a natural number. It's a true. What is the infimum of this? If you take as a limit n approaches infinity, this value is my 1. So 1 plus n. What is the limit of the 1 plus n? This goes to my infinity, which is, is it a natural number? No. So this means this is a false statement. Look at that. This is not a natural number. That's true because infinity does not is a natural number. So which of the following is true is the right answer is C is my correct option for this. Look at the another one is there. Uh, we are talking about the limit supremum and so on. So what is the options are there? Look at the first option. So EN is a sequence of the subset of that. Is it the convergent sequence or the divergent sequence? They are not talking about that. It means it's any sequence. But Green all knows that this limit supremum and infimus exist only for convergent sequence. So it means this is option is wrong. Now how you can solve find this one. So other one is we will check the supremum and infimum. So x belongs to the supremum. So I consider any of the x belongs to here. What is the meaning of that? It means x belongs to the infimum uh, intersection of here. What is the meaning of that? x belongs to the intersection. What, what is the meaning of that? x belongs to the because I know that if x belongs to an intersection of the ai what is the meaning of that x belongs to the each of the ai so I can say x belongs to the each of this so n varies from k to infinity okay now what is the meaning of the unions are there it means x belongs to the uh, for each n so but here for each k because this is here for each are there now what is the value of this so since it is the intersection from k is equal to 1 to infinity for each k k varies from 1 to infinity it means how many values are there they are infinitely many values so what is the meaning of that what is the meaning of the intersection union is it may belongs to this or this or this and so on it is up to the infinite so this since there are infinite many values so what is the meaning of that x belongs to the e n for sum, what is the meaning of the for sum? There is a finite value, but we get infinite many values. That option is discard. Similarly, we look at the uh, uh, look at the third options. If x belongs to the infimum, so if I say x belongs to the infimum, what is the meaning of that? X belongs to the union of this. What is the meaning of that? It means x belongs to either. If I consider this as k is equal to one to, I call this as say my b k. Okay, so I call this as a B of K. What is the meaning of that? X belongs to the B K, the B1 or B2 or and so on. What is the meaning of that? How many S are there? These are B infinite values are there. So uh, X belongs to the B K. When What is the meaning of the B K? B K is the intersection of the E N. So what is the meaning of that? X belongs to the each of this E N. N varies from K to infinite. So what is the meaning of that? They are, how many values are there? x belongs to the each but they are finitely many values are there so what is the right answer of this they are they are existing all because they are the intersection they are finitely many values of the n because they are here so right answer is my c they are infinite many are cancelled because of the word all 
look at the another one is there so which of the following is a map so what is the meaning of that if you read the statement you have to define like here so there how many maps are there so all of you know that but uh, how you can define the number of the mappings are there that is nothing but the cardinality of this r raised to power cardinality of this r square what is the cardinality of the r what is the cardinality of the r this is nothing but my lf not which is a which is a uncountable so this is lf not this is lf not here so which is definitely be a not a countable or you can say which is not a finite number so it means at most one that option is discard at most finitely that option is discard infinitely many that option is also discard there is no continuous mapping that is true why all of you know that uh, r th this is the first way you can also consider the second method is all of you know that r r square are my uncountable set once this is uncountable set what is the meaning of that there is no one one correspondence between them so once there is no one one correspondence between them what is the meaning of that it means there does not exist any one one and on to mapping so what is the meaning of that one one and on to mapping means there is a no bijective map and you can see there is no bijective map is the right answer and here is the one there is infinitely many one one map this is a on to map so that option is discard that's the one of the easiest way of this look at this one a function is continuous so a function are continuous functions are there so whether the function is my x whether is a function is x cube whether is a function of here whatever this is not given to you how you can solve this problem that's a very simple what you can do is you have to draw the graph x is my 0 x is my 1 it should be the continuous it can be of like here this are my graph and g of 0 is my 1 another graph i can draw like here this is my say 1 and g of 1 is also be a 1 i like say here so what is the graph of this it can be like in the upside or it can be in the below side but it is given that f of half wherever the half is there value of the f is greater than of the value of the g it means the graph it can be like of this way but the value of this is of here and this value is my corresponding to 1 so now you can see the graph may be like of this way these are the continuous there is no of t such that they are wrong because you can see at least one value two value and many more are there so there is no value cancel exactly one that also be cancel there is at least two values are there at least two value is it true at least two value uh, that's true because if because if this it belongs to here then it should be passing through here so it means at least two value must be there there are always infinite many value there is not be always why if your like say if your graph will be like here for the f and this is my one so if your graph will be like here then there are exactly two values so always infinite will not be true so the right answer is only my c look at the another one is there so which of the following are true again it's a very simple so if look at this option are there so either x and y are zero so what will happen the, for this case there are the two case either x is zero or x is non zero if x is zero then it means mod of y zero what is the meaning of that y is zero if mod of x is if x is non zero it means mod x function is my here what is the meaning of that x is zero in both the cases this is true f of x y is greater than equal to zero for all x y so what is the meaning of the for x x y either x is zero or x is non zero if x is my zero what will happen is mod of y which is always be a greater than or equal to zero whenever here it is always be greater than or equal to zero it means the function is true look about this again if you apply this value it means either the alpha x is zero or alpha x is non zero if alpha x is my zero then the what is the left hand side is that is my mod of y y is my alpha y that is there so i can write this as mod of this and here what is that when alpha x is zero it means this is nothing but my pxy which is true here can you say about this this is nothing but my x i can write again this of mod x this is again my pxy whenever x is non zero so this option is also true look about this one whether it is true or not now there are the again two cases whether x1 and x2 are zero or x1 plus x2 is a non zero so when it will be zero it is either both are zero or one is zero 
one is a negative and the other is positive and so on. So clearly see that this value is a non-zero. Why? Because if I assume x1 and x2 are zero, what is the meaning of that? This is y1 plus y2. And it doesn't, x1 plus x2 is zero, it doesn't mean that x1 is zero, x2 is zero. Why? Because it, it means it can be possible that x1 is minus one, x1, x2 is my plus one. So corresponding to this, what is the value of here? This means this is my mod of x1. This is my mode of x2, which is not equal to the mode of y1 plus y2. So this option is discard. So the right answers are my a, b and c. So this is the way you can solve these uh, questions with a simple shortcut to XR. We will see some more questions related to the sequence and series in our next class. Till then, best of luck students. Happy learning.